Getting stuck behind a school bus can be bad, especially when it pulls away and kicks out black smoke at you. But this one is electric. And I'll show you, that's how it charges. It takes about two hours to charge this thing using a DC fast charger. Most school systems aren't gonna have a DC fast charger at their location. So they slow charge them during the day and overnight. Here you can see this is a lot of this is the, uh, the battery management system and also the cooling system. So you can see the tanks there. The batteries need to be cooled and heated depending on the condition, the weather conditions outside. But also uh, it is for the heating of the compartment. And I'll show you on the inside. You can see that Cummins is a manufacturer of a lot of these electronics. They have made significant investments. Yes, they still make diesel engines, but that doesn't mean they've given up on other technologies. So you can see this is a, uh, this is a type D school bus. I'll show you how you can tell the difference. And let me close this in here as well, since I opened that. Uh, this is for the Dearborn School District. So that is in Southeast Michigan. I'm at the Clean Cruise, the Michigan Clean Cruise, a celebration of electric vehicles, plug-ins and hybrids. Um, the, this vehicle in particular has air conditioning, you can see on top, so that is electric. And these, not all school buses are air conditioned, especially here in Southeast Michigan. If they're not used in the summer, well, then maybe they don't equip them that way. It's up to each individual school district. Let me tell you some of the specs of this one. So I mentioned before, the, this is a Type D. Uh, you can tell that because of the flat front, that's usually the giveaway, and that allows for some extra rows of passengers. So this chassis, this platform can seat up to 84 people, but this one is configured to seat 75. Uh, this is all electric with a range of up to 150 miles from a 194 kilowatt hour nickel manganese cobalt NMC battery. So for reference, that's about the size of, let's say the Silverado EV, the larger GM electric vehicles. Those get range of up to, oh, they're approaching 500 miles, but this one, because it's such a bigger vehicle, gets a range of about 150. In the winter, it's gonna drop a little bit. In the summer, if it's using the air conditioning, it's also going to affect that as well but school buses typically an average school bus really only drives about 35 miles or less one way and especially a district like dearborn it's a densely populated suburb on the borders of detroit they don't need that much range in order to get the job done and get the kids to camp or school or field trip or whatever they're doing so let's take a look inside As I mentioned, this one is air conditioned, which is not always the case. Uh, the heating is done using the electric system. So you can see the vents there for air conditioning and for the heating as well. And the, another unique feature of these is that they offer seat belts. There are pros and cons. I was talking to the uh, manager for the fleet for the Dearborn School District and there are pros and cons kids sometimes like to use them other times it's up to the driver to get kids to use them and there's always questions should the school district enforce that or just make it optional and in the event of an emergency if kids have to get out of their seatbelts they just use that so this is a bluebird Let's get the name right. All American RE Electric. Uh, these are made in Georgia. I don't know where the batteries are sourced from, but NMC, they're probably the US. Um, there is a company, Proterra, that their bus manufacturing went out of business, but their battery making was acquired. And they're pretty popular amongst large commercial vehicles to use their commercial batteries. This is also powered by a Dana TM4 motor. That's a pretty common electric motor that people are using. So 
This is the Bluebird All-American RE Electric. Dearborn Public Schools has several of these in operation. And speaking to the, uh, the manager, they particularly like the air conditioning in the summer because on a diesel truck, they said even ones with air conditioning, you can barely feel it. The driver usually sweats a lot because of that diesel engine throwing off the heat. In the electric version, no such problem. 